Okay, now we're going to be doing some sacroiliac joints, often known as SI joints. For the AP axial of the SI joints, you're going to want to have a tube angle. It ranges from 30 to 35. Typically, you'll use the greater angle on women because of the shape of the pelvis. Um, men use about 30, so just remember that 30 to 35 range. So this is going to be cephalic. Now once you have your tube in position, remember to check your bucky. Since this is the right side of the patient, you can either put your right marker directly on the image receptor, which I'm using the smaller image receptor. Or, if it's a system where it's a DR system, you could place it just right on the right side of the patient. So, this is for the AP axial of the sacroiliac joint. It also shows the L5, S1 joint space real well. Now, for the obliques of the SI joints, you're going to have the patient obliqued approximately 25 to 30 degrees. Now, just keep in mind if they look like they're halfway up, that's too steep of an angle. So you always want to check that. So David's turning up for me here. If he was halfway, when you stand here to assess the area, you can tell that this is a, a pretty great angle. So you're going to want to roll him back slightly to have that 25 to 30 degree angle. It will be a straight central ray. And when you're imaging SI joints, you're imaging each joint separately. Because his left side is up, we're going to be seeing the left SI joint the best. So you want to palpate for the ASIS and then come in front of it approximately an inch. Okay, so you can see my line cutting across the ASIS and then you can see the sagittal line one inch front and I'm imaging the left SI joint so you can place your marker right here and we can collimate just a little bit on the sides okay so that is our left SI joint okay now we'll do the right SI joint so we're going to roll the patient to the left side this can seem a little confusing when you think about when we're doing the spine imaging but just keep in mind when you're imaging SI joints, the side that is up is the side that the joint opens the best and you can evaluate it best. Okay, so look at your patient and make sure they're not up too much. Alright, palpate the ASIS. And then I'm going to go one inch in front of it. So my central ray is going to be directly one inch in front of that. Since this is the right side that we're imaging, we're going to mark it as right. Okay, so that is our right SI joint. Although it's an LPO oblique, for SI joints, you're imaging the side up. So that's the side that you are going to mark. Okay.